What's up, everybody? Welcome to today's episode of the Comeback Podcast with your host, Mark Jennison, founder and creator of the Comeback Movement, the man that is going to change your life. Today's topic is, if you're going to tell the truth, make sure you tell the whole truth. Sit back, enjoy the show, and let's roll. So, I just did a three-day seminar, uh, to be 100% truthful about it. It was a dinner Friday night, full day uh, Saturday, and then a half day on Sunday. So, so yes, yeah, so you're here for three days. It was legit probably about 12 to 15 hours of coaching, training. It was, it was a great time of the weekend, an amazing experience. We focused in on a lot of different things. Fear, you know, becoming fearless, looking at your family, like what really fucking matters to you, building a powerful presence so you know what's going on. We focused on the, the discipline it's going to take and giving yourself the permission to go and to be able to come the man you want to be. But there's one thing we really, really focused in that was just kind of an unwritten rule with the premise that led up to this thing here. It's about stop fucking lying. That's really what, what got me to be able to make the progress here. Now, when you stop fucking lying, it's not just about like one day you just stop lying. It takes a process as a man, as a, maybe as a woman, I don't know how a woman thinks, but as a man and as, as these things, your mind can manipulate a lot of different things to make you think you're not lying when you know that you're really, really fucking lying. A lie's not always a lie from what you're saying, but what you're acting and feeling inside. I could give you hundreds and hundreds of examples, but this particular podcast is about fucking telling the truth from your lies verbally after you get in trouble. If you do something wrong, if you do something that's not right, and you don't fucking tell the truth of it because you didn't get a, you got in trouble a little bit, but you got away with some stuff, you are living an ultimate fucking lie. Not only are you living the ultimate fucking lie, but you're putting that out into the other people's world that you told a lie to. Now see, since a lie doesn't indirectly affect me and I can see through the bullshit of the lie that was told to me, I, it doesn't matter. I can squash it because I see it, because I know the truth. See, the truth is going to be the light and the darkness. The light makes it right. The truth helps you fucking turn that light on. In this particular situation, somebody can be very, very, very fucking hurt because of a lie that someone wants to hold into their fucking future because they don't truly want to get in trouble. Because they don't truly want to live and be the man that they want to be. In your life, there's many things that you don't want to fucking tell people. It's uncomfortable. It hurts. You've lied. You've cheated. You stole. You did stupid fucking things that can literally hurt people. So you don't want to tell them. I don't give a fuck what any other program says, what anything ever does. I had to completely be stripped, robbed out, lose everything, look at the fucking core, even though at that point I was still telling lies till one day I had to fucking side it that I will not tell a lie no more. And if I get to that point where I feel I'm verbalizing, I fucking stop it, check it out, figure out what's happening. Now that doesn't mean I've never told lies, so don't, don't get me wrong. This weekend I had something fucking really huge happen before going into the event. I'm not going to do details, I don't single out people, I don't give a fuck, that's not who I am. Here's what I know. On the other side of the truth, on the other side of what really happened, the truth that you're speaking to the world, the truth that this particular person is going out and writing on Facebook and doing things and claiming what he's really looking for is fucking sympathy. I'm not upset he got caught. I'm not upset. He's upset that he got himself in trouble. He's upset that he can't do what he did before. And I love the guy. I care about him. But at the end of the day, he knows the truth. The importance of fucking drilling in and finding out who you are. The importance of coming clean with the absolute truth, even though if you follow AA for so long, because this is essentially a drinking, better, self-development podcast. If you follow them, there's a there's a step in there that says, you know, you tell the truth unless it's going to per- harm somebody. Here's the fucking truth. The truth hurts, but the truth is mandatory. The truth is necessary. Because if you're not fucking telling somebody, if you're not telling that person, you're carrying that with you for so long. I want you guys to look deeper today. Where inside your life, across your faith, across your finances, across your family, across your fitness, across your future, across the freedom of who you are. Are you fucking lying to yourself? Are you lying to somebody else? I could make a whole course, a whole program, and just stop fucking lying. But it's really as simple as just deciding. Just like it's gonna be a choice for you right now to make and decide if you want to join us. As always, if you're struggling to figure out how to make that decision, you want to get out to the world first, you need someone like myself, someone like my team, someone like my revelation coaches to be able to speak the shit that's hurting you into existence, I urge you to click the link. Actually, there's no link. I fucked that up all the time. 
I urge you to type in iamacomeback.com forward slash apply, iamacomeback.com forward slash apply. Myself, my team, somebody will reach out to you and we'll see if we are a fit. We do not work with everybody. We do not look, work with liars. We do not work with cheats. We do not work with people who do not want to be better. Now, at the same time, we're looking for those people so we can get rid of them. So if you truly are ready to become the man you want to be, click the link, type it in, whatever you got to do. If you're not, keep coming back. Keep listening. We will be here. That's it for today's episode of the Comeback Podcast. I'll see you all tomorrow. Have an amazing Monday. Take care.